Hey guys, Manuel from Mild Q Gaming here, and I'm here with our very first Minecraft mod showcase. And today, I'm going to be reviewing the Cheese mod by Nuclear Banana. Cheese! This mod adds eight types of cheeses into your Minecraft world: Parmesan, Mozzarella, Gouda, Brie, Rockford, Gorgonzola, Feta, and a Mental. But besides that, it also adds an assortment of objects and items into the game. The first thing we're going to go over, the most important thing, is the cheese maker. The cheese maker can come in six different types, each depending on the wood you use. The cheese maker requires three smooth stone and two woods of your choice. And there we go, the cheese maker. Now you can have it any type with the oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, or dark oak. And besides that, Making cheese is actually quite simple. Now the first thing we need is a bucket of milk. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to do this. Look, I don't like it as much as you do, but let's just get this over with. Let's just get this over with. Oh god. This is so awkward. Okay rather simple then once with the bucket of milk you just right click into the cheese maker and then after time your cheese will be ready 12 seconds later any second now these cheeses will be ready two hours later pretty soon these cheeses will be ready two thousand years later voila now your cheese is ready once ready you just left click the top of it and it gives you a random type of cheese so you can't choose what cheese you're gonna get you'll get random ones so I'm gonna place this cheese down here and that is Parmesan and besides the cheeses they add an assortment of things such as pizza pizza cutter and the cheese knife now first thing I'm gonna get is I'm gonna get us a cheese knife to cut the cheese it's rather simple to make you just need two iron ingots and a stick Cheese knife. Now to cut a cheese, you need to right click with the cheese knife. And boom, we got six Parmesan cheeses. Now you eat, and a slice of cheese covers, restores about one or two hunger. One thing they added in the cheese mod that I really like is that they actually added like little details on each type of cheese. So here we have. Parmesan it says country of origin, Italy, type hard, Gouda, Brie, Rockfort, Gorgonzola, Feta, and Mental. Each has a little information from the country of origin, what type of cheese it is. Now see that kind of you know that shows that the mod maker put a little you know some effort into this mod. Didn't just throw stuff all together. And besides all these cheeses. We have another thing we could do. Besides cheeses, this mod also adds another other types of food objects, such as pizza and cheeseburgers. Now to make pizza, what you're gonna need is melted cheese, which you could get by putting a mental into the furnace. You need melted cheese, some bread, and some cooked pork chop. In the crafting table, you could you put it down that, that, and that. Boom, pizza. It doesn't even matter how you arrange it, the shape of crafting recipe. Boom, we got a slice of pizza. Now, and I don't know if you could eat it or not like this, but you're gonna need a pizza cutter. To that, you need four iron ingots and a stick. A little pricey, just for something to cut pizza, but eh. Boom, boom, boom. Four pizza slices. Okay, so a slice of pizza restores one hunger, which is kind of disappointing, since it requires more to make. Well, not really. I guess you turn one slice of cheese into a whole pizza. But then again, it requires a whole pork chop. I don't know. But a slice of pizza should be slightly more than just one hunger bar, if you ask me. But besides pizza, you could also make a cheeseburger. Now, if to make a cheeseburger, you're going to need a slice of a mental cheese. Some beef. Some beef 
and bread, which I already had. Pop that, that, and we can have that. Any order you like. Boom, you add yourself a cheese bread. Here we go. And as you can see, the cheeseburger is a lot more satisfying than the pizza. Now see, this mod, this is a rather simple mod. You know, it doesn't add anything crazy into your Minecraft world. But, if you want that little, like, little something something, a little touch you want to add to your vanilla Minecraft, but you just don't want to change your Minecraft too much, I'd say this is the mod for you. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, go ahead and, you know, click that like button. And if you want to see more videos from with me and the other guys, go ahead and uh, click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching. This is Emmanuel from Molecule Games.